Hey everybody, I'm Diana Blass inside Fujitsu's booth at Mobile World Congress, learning more about the ways Fujitsu is driving more efficiency and reliability into the network. I'm joined by Rob Hughes today. Hi, thanks for joining me today. Yeah, thanks for, uh, thanks for joining us here at the booth. Well, you have a lot of exciting things going on that I'm excited to check out here. But first, let's talk about the complexities that mobile network operators are facing today. Well, there's a number of challenges that they're facing. Uh, I think one area in particular is, you know, people are always trying to improve power, power consumption, they're trying to save money, and they're trying to improve the reliability of their network. And one of the challenges comes from having excess capacity. So currently, uh, operators have compute capacity all scattered all throughout the network in different base stations. And at the end of the workday, People go from downtown out to the suburbs and they've got a bunch of excess capacity now in the center of the network. The next day people return from the suburbs back downtown and now the operators have excess capacity in the suburbs. So that creates a problem because all that excess capacity costs money, it consumes power, and with a single distributed unit or DU at each site, it creates a single point of failure. So that's a bit of a problem for them. Well, so how are uh, operators addressing this and how is Fujitsu helping them to address it? Well, one of the solutions that operators can do is to centralize their RAN resources by pooling them into a few smaller hubs. Uh, currently, people or operators are limited in attaching their radios within 30 kilometers of a distributed unit. But one of the things Fujitsu has done to help with this is to extend that front hall range up to 50 kilometers. So we do this by uh, using our expertise in layer one software to really reduce the amount of time it takes to process layer one tasks. And then we use this extra time to increase the latency budget on the front hall and extending the range up to 50 kilometers or 60%. Interesting. Well, I'd love to see it in action. Do you have any demos that showcase this? We certainly do. Let's go check it out. Okay. All right, well, let's see what you got here. Well, we've got a UE or a mobile device inside the shield box with the antennas. That's connected to the radio unit. That's connected to 20 kilometers of fiber. Then we're going to, to a node of a front hall switch that would sort of simulate a local aggregation point. That's connected to another 30 kilometers, which would go back to the hub site and then onto the DU. And let's go check out the equipment over here. So we've got the UE is inside the shield box there. That's connected to the radio unit. There we are to the first 20 kilometers. Goes down to the local aggregation point. Another 30 kilometers of fiber there and back down to the DU. So what we're going to show now is that we're able to, to, to perform the connection and you're still going to get reasonable through, throughput and, and without any performance degradation. All right, so as you can see, we're getting over one gig per, per UE and so proving that the, the performance is not degraded in any way. Now, does this still comply with the ORAN standard? Absolutely. It completely complies with the ORAN standards, so it will work with not only any Fujitsu radios, but anyone else's as well, including Massive MIMO. And we touched on the complexities that mobile network operators are facing earlier in the interview, uh, energy consumption, reliability. How does this long-range capability help them to address those capabilities? Sure. Well, with, with being able to extend it to 50 kilometers, you can really amplify all the benefits of pooling by almost a factor of three. So you're able to, to spread that traffic demand over the entire network, uh, and that reduces the amount of uh, equipment uh, by reducing the amount of excess capacity in the network. So with less equipment, there's less power, there's less cost, there's less space required, and you're also really able to reduce the number of sites dramatically. So all your site costs like maintenance are gonna go down. And if a DU does happen to go down, well, the operator may lose a little bit of capacity, but they're still gonna be able to support traffic and keep their customers happy. Interesting, well, thank you so much for your time today. Yeah, thanks for stopping by. And for everybody at home interested in learning more, be sure to follow along on Light Reading.